What's going on guys? Here I have the brand new Lenovo Legion Go and today we're going to be taking a look at the internals, tearing it down, showing you how easy it is to replace the SSD. The first thing I want to note on this device is the build quality is actually really well. Everything seems to be very solid. Compared to say the Asus ROG Alley, this is a much better improvement. So let's go ahead, not waste any more time and tear it down. So after the device is shut down, go ahead and flip it over and take off the controllers. And with the device on its back, we're gonna go ahead and remove six Phillips screws. Now we grab a pry pick tool, slowly pick up at the edges. And once you have that pretty loose, you can go ahead, peel up on the cover and that will remove the back plate. Here's a close look at the internals. The SSD is located over here. We'll need to go ahead and peel back this adhesive. And also located right here is the power for the battery. Let's go ahead and disconnect the power. And now we can work safely on the device. Remove one Phillips screw here and slide it right out. And here's a look at the SSD. Simply swap in a new one if you were to upgrade this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the various antennas. So located here on the side of the device, this white, gray, and black wire. And I'm also going to disconnect a few cables here. This cable located right here. As well as two cables over here. Now we can go ahead and remove a few Phillips screws that house this plastic piece. One located here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we can carefully peel up on this plastic piece. This will take out these left and right bumpers. And this gets removed as one whole unit. And here's a look at the rear. Now we can go ahead and remove the fan with two screws and this fan connector. And now we can remove the device's heat sink with these three screws. Carefully remove the heat sink. And here we are greeted with our processor. Now I'm gonna undo a few connectors here. This one for the main board. And go ahead and peel it up. Be gentle here. These two connectors under the processor. Go ahead and undo one Phillips screw for the display connector. Here is the display connector. And now we can remove the main board by removing one, two, and three Phillips screws. And carefully peel up on the main board. 
making sure you don't nick any of these cables and the main board slides right out And we can see these two connectors go to the controllers. Now I'm going to remove this other board here. Make sure you go ahead and disconnect these cables. And remove one Phillips screw located here. And here's that component. That connects us to our power button located here in the top left corner, as well as possibly the webcam located in the front of the device. Now we can go ahead and remove the battery. It looks like the battery has two pull tabs located here. So once you have those pull tabs removed, the battery simply pops right out. And you can see this is your battery. We've got the controller over here, the battery controller. We've got one more component here to remove, two Phillips screws. Carefully remove that. Now we're pretty much left with the housing and the display. From here, it looks like if you do need to replace the display, it's held in via adhesive on the sides and you pop that out, push it out from here. Um, this is the display connector and you would basically just put a new display on there, feed that cable through. So there you guys go for a tear down on the Lenovo Legion Go. Again, really good build quality on this compared to the ASUS ROG Alley. If you guys did find this video helpful, please leave me a big thumbs up. And again, you only need a Phillips screwdriver to take this device apart. I'll go ahead and leave a link down below. If you guys have any questions or want any information on the Legion Go, go ahead and leave them down below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel for more tech videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.